Okay. Here we are on the table saw. First thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this blade up through the table. All right. We're going to lock this in place. There's just enough with this quarter inch ply down here. Okay. Just enough to clip here at the back. All right, Joe. Go ahead and. Okay. It's right there where we want it there. So we're going to. And we're going to get this adjusted just right. That's good there. Having some technical difficulties here. Back on. Okay. Now, I'm going to bring this up through here. All right. <laughs> Dropping the blade. The blade is going down just by degrees. All right, there we we want to start it out. Just just barely coming up through this. Now here is the safety feature. <clears throat> I'm going to take this two by four and I'm going to mount it. Timber. <laughs> All right, I'm going to mount it right here. Right next. To this, I'm going to use these C clamps to, to mount the clamp it down, okay? And now this board becomes our slider for my hand, okay? And we'll show you how that's going to work. Okay, Joe, here's our guest, our guest star. Only reason I did this, it was all Joe's fault. It's all his fault, you guys. He gets me in all kinds of things I would have never planned on. The other thing I'm forgetting is you want to create a slight gap. So I'm taking this just a piece of sandpaper. All right, and I'm putting it down here. All right, so I have a little bit of tolerance. This is the safety feature right here, guys. This makes this all possible. This two by four. Without this two by four, um, this would be not doable. It wouldn't be safe. It just would not be safe otherwise. Talking. Well, I'll get it. All right, now. You showing what I'm doing? Yeah. You need to back up at all? No. I forget you can spread out and zoom in too. Or pan out as well as pan in. All right. One person watching, one mic. All right. Well, thanks for who's here. Who's here? I won't be able to. You won't hear me here in a few minutes. <laughs> who's in here? All right. We've got a little bit of play. Hello. Let me see who this is. We have 
Rita's weight loss. How are we, how you doing, Rita? Thanks for dropping in. This is like totally unethical. And uh, we're defying the odds, but we're doing it with making it safe. All right, you can see it here firsthand. We're cutting a block of aluminum. I won't, I won't be able to talk to you here in a minute. That's snug. And a little bit of play. I don't like the play. So I'm going to adjust this a tad more. Don't like the play that's in there. That's good right there. Now, this is getting snug, snugging up. Oh, the only thing is, this isn't gonna, this doesn't slide on this plywood as nice as it did on the table last time. But this piece here is a slider. This makes it all happen. Okay, this is really doesn't matter here. It's not on the edge. All right, so it's gonna be here. And we're gonna, Gotta move that back. Okay, that gets so tight. All right, now we can adjust this other side. As you see, it's a little tight there. Doing this these preliminaries. If I wasn't live, you would not be seeing all of this. This is what you wouldn't be seeing. So, going live has its benefits as well as its drawbacks. like that I don't like that okay see if I was going wasn't live you would not be seeing all of this okay This is Memorex. All right, here we go. This should do it this time. Feels good. All right, we are cooking with Crisco. It just moved. Once I get this C clamp set, the C clamp's giving me a little bit of problem here. This is where I need three hands. Let's see the two. Yeah, didn't have this problem last time. What'd you do? You broke it. Yes. Now, the only thing about going live is if you mess you up because you're on the spot, 
And uh, these are normally the things you're not seeing. Got to adjust this. Okay, we're good there. All right. Put this one on. Anybody else here? Two. Who else is here? Hey, Nathan likes drums. How's it going, bro? This is a shim, so it doesn't, so it's not too tight. It's teeter tottering on the plywood, and that's what's making it a little bit more complicated is because of the teeter tottering on it. This may, I can shim it there. That should help. Okay, now. Okay, having some technical difficulties here. Where we're back on. All right, you guys, check this out. Are you watching now? Okay, here you go. You need to, you probably need to stand up so you can see better. I can see you. It needs to be good. No one else can see you. Huh? All right, now, this is my what I'm going to be sliding on here. All right, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn up the blade. Go.
Hey, you can see the progress. I'll tell you exactly what's going on after I'm finished.
Are you from? Huh? Are you from? Now, the last one I made, the bar was longer, of course, so it gave me more leverage. So, board here allows me to slide, okay, as well as it's a brake. This board here is a brake that pushes against the block against the fence as I push in. So, it's a brake, okay? Not only is this becomes a brake, it also keeps it pushed flat to the fence and straight to the fence. Okay, so that's the purpose of this. This is your brake because you push it towards the fence. As you, it also helps to keep pressure alongside the fence so you get a nice straight cut. Okay, there's only at, me on here. At the same time, what it's also allowing me to do is slide along as I make the cut all right so you don't get splinters and it also protects your hand from the blade because the blade is now above the the two by four all right so this keeps my hand protected all right the only thing that I should do is create a notch here cut a notch into this so that this fits that's the only thing this is lacking is a cutout for this to go into on the on my block here the slider block which becomes your break as well as keeping it level and flat up against the side of the fence all right so that's the purpose of this so i improvised and created and added this cross piece on top of it as I was making the cut so I could push it and keep it tied against. So this is helped to pushing it, okay? And that was the purpose. Now we're gonna cut that piece. The last piece I made, I didn't have the plywood on the table. And the gap in the fit in the table caused us to have a angle on the aluminum plate that we cut. Okay, and so I wanted to avoid having the angle on the finished product, which we don't have. And I'm going to show you what caused that here. I have to get the term what this is called. All right, and what gave us the angle on the last piece. Is this gap that here, all right? And it kind of created an angle when I cut because of this slope you have in here, all right? It's just wide enough, see, where it kind of caught into that sloping area. 
Okay. The lighting isn't that good. Let me see if I can't catch it back here. Cut and cause the angle on the last piece. So that was the purpose of making this zero tolerance by adding this quarter inch. How's it going? Glad to have you here. All right. So I cut this block of aluminum on my table saw to find the eye. That's over an inch and a half. That's probably an inch and five eighths or so. Um, let's see what this, how deep it is actually. Let's see, what is it? We are looking at, mm -hmm. oh wow, we are right here at two inches, guys. Look at that. Okay. So, that is pretty nice. Three quarter inches block aluminum. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to lower this blade. A thousand in a month. Good job, Nathan. You've been busy, busy, busy. I wish I had that kind of time. Okay, so we're taking this blade down. You was Gator League Challenge, really? 17k dislikes what 17k dislikes what's up with that was that like on purpose yes um tell me about that what what was about the dislikes and then how did that get started You found you you found some with someone. Uh, now this is where we're gonna check to cut the gap. All right, that's just barely above. So that's perfect to cut that. All right. Now this is where you want to use your slide right here. Okay. There we go. All right. So tell me about this dislikes on purpose. Who started that? What started it? Argument with another YouTuber who had more friends. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> So it become a challenge to see you could get the most dislikes. That's interesting. So how did you how did you actually get 17 dislikes? That's incredible. How did you do that? All right. So now we're going to take this. All right. You don't know how to start. That's pretty good. Okay, now I'm going to get this in here. Let's get that here. All right. Now we're going to get this lined up to see where we're at here with the blade. Where are we going? Where is it going to cut? All right. That's going to be about right. That should be about perfect, right there. Right there. Oh, back just to here. All right. That means the YouTuber's name is Gator, and the other's person's that's something. <laughs> Very good. So, so are these on your friends list. Are these guys on your friends list that did this? Okay, I'm getting this adjusted here right to where I want it. Oh, I need to get kicked out. I hear more. 
right there. All right, now we're gonna lock this down. Okay, now she's locked down. Hey, Nathan, you're back. X, X. Um, <coughs> X, your heck was telling me about uh, some people that got like, like 17,000 dislikes. Dislikes on purpose. Okay, where's that block at, John? We use that two by four. Yeah. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. Now we're gonna get this up here. All right. Let's get this clamp on that. Here you go. Get this adjusted. Yeah, you get a dislike. <laughs> okay, let's stand up here. Okay, now we're gonna cut this block. You want to make sure you see it real well. Oh, no. Can you, can you see down in here? Oh, can you see down no. in here? Yeah. I'm serious. Or do you need to stand over here? No, I'm good. I can see it. Okay, here we go. Slow and sure. You know what? You catch it right here, you see it really good. Well. Now don't stab yourself. Twenty thousand years you'll stab yourself. <laughs> One down. One to go. So got my thumb. <laughs> Out five. Out five. <laughs>
Okay, now you can see here, I misjudged. Well, see, for the first one, it would have been fine. Um, we can make another adjustment and cut, or we just grind it. We just snap this off here. Just snap that. Oh, I may have to make another pass, guys. I'm going to have to make another pass. Okay, no problem. We're going to do that right now. We're going to adjust the blade up. Get the blade. That should be plenty. All right. Slide it back. Remember, you can't. Oh. <laughs> you got to start it up. Then Now, you can see how close I was, all right, here. But that'll take a little bit of cleanup, nothing major, all right. So, there you have it, cutting a block of aluminum on a table saw. Something you're never supposed to do, kid. Define the odds. So I hope you've enjoyed the uh, live stream and this process. Um, on the first video, if you haven't seen it, you can see the piece that was finished. And uh, on the first video, on the first block I made, I marked out the holes first, got them center, drilled the center, center drill the holes, then. I put them on the table saw and I cut it. Now these plates will have to be drilled after the fact, which is okay. But by drilling through the block first and making all your holes first, it saves you from having to do it four times or eight times versus just once. Well, actually four, you know. Anyways, just cut your time in half, cut your labor in half, and you're killing two birds with one stone by drilling first. All right, I'm sure everybody, most everybody would know that, but I'm just saying that for those that don't know. So, uh, hope this has been fun. Look forward to your comments, any suggestions. And for you machinists out there, what are your thoughts on this process? I'd like to hear some machinists, the professionals' thoughts on this. Um, and I'm sure, you know, by watching what I've, how I've gone about this, uh, it may have opened some doors and given you some ideas for some of your future products when you don't have the right tools. We've made it work. And uh, it works. And so Joe's Jazz to solve the problem for him. The part that we've made is uh, obsolete. They no longer make, sell them. And uh, they're cheap to start with. They were the weakest link. They were designed to wear out. So shame on them. But now you know how to do it yourself. Looking forward to hearing from you. Take care. God bless. Bye for now. And we're just keeping it real. And never give up because there's always a way. All right. Now for the viewing audience. T.Y. Great Bolt. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, Jayaz, how are we doing? Are you still here? Jay has Alba. Are you still here? If you're if you're still here, Nathan, thanks for dropping in. All right, who's 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 down standby? Who's here with me right now? Yeah. Is there anybody else here? Okay. 
I'm not sure how to pronounce your name. Uh, X X R Ray X Ray. I guess it's Tech. Is that X Ray Tech? Is that how you pronounce? It? Hector. Okay, Hector. Thank you. I'm thinking that we are. That we're new, or we're thinking we're new friends. I, I think you're new to my channel, Hector. How long have you been here? Did you just see my uh, channel tonight, Hector? Are you still around? Oh, okay. All right, yeah few days doing a shout out when I hit 800 and a special shout out when I hit a thousand be be on standby be looking for that you good yeah all right well I'm gonna call it a night and uh, appreciate everybody being here for dropping in it looks like you've gained a few more people joining your communities, and that's great. Remember, watch videos, a full view if you can. Full views if you can. That's always important. And like I say, I'll be brushing my teeth, watching, letting somebody's video play, you know? So there's always ways to do that, to give people full views. That's most important. And uh, I'll keep up the good work, everybody. United we stand, and you can it happen what I'm talking about. All right. God bless. Keep up the good work. And I look forward to seeing your future channel, your future videos. And remember, content, content, content. Good content. Be creative. Do research if you have to. And uh, produce good content. All right. God bless. Bye for now. Bye. See you again, definitely. Have a good night. Thanks for dropping in here. Remember, when I hit 800, be in a day or so. I'm doing a shout out.